Hello, Allen Temple parents. My name is Kevin S. Aldridge. I'm the youth pastor here at Allen Temple, and I'm excited to come to you today to talk about our new revamped and reinvigorated youth department here at Allen Temple. Now, it's been a long couple of years and uh, challenging times as we have uh, gone through a pandemic and are, are, are having our slow return back to church. And, and now our church is filling back up and we have our young people coming back in large numbers. And so now we're able to finally put forth the vision that we had when I joined Allen Temple a couple years ago, and we're excited about everything that's coming up. So I wanted to take just a few minutes today um, to update you and let you know what we've been working on and some of the changes that you can look forward to seeing at Allen Temple and our youth department and what we have in store for your young person. First of all, I want to say that moving forward, every Sunday, we're going to be having our youth ministry experience, our youth church, and it's going to be compiled of a couple of different things. First, we're going to have what we call our introductory devotional period that will be led by myself, and the kids will come in and we'll, we'll sing a songs, we'll do a little prayer, we'll have some scripture reading, and I'll have a short message that I'll deliver to the kids that'll get them started. Then from there, they'll transition into our our youth arts ministry that's being led by Miss Danae Cannon. And for those of you who know Danae, Danae is filled with a lot of energy, a lot of really creative ideas, and she really knows how to engage our young people. So Danae will be working with them on a lot of the programming that you will see in our church. So when we have Black History programs, Easter programs, Christmas programs, you name it, uh, Danae will be leading our young people in that effort, getting them excited and involved and putting forth great programming and presentations for you. What we're encouraging uh, Danae to do and what I know she will do is she's going to unlock and release the gifts that our young people have and put them on display, not just for our entertainment, but helping them to understand how to use those gifts to glorify God. So we're excited about what Danae is going to bring uh, to our youth arts ministry. So that's the second component of what kids will experience each Sunday. The third part is our most traditional and, and long-standing uh, programming that we have, which is our Sunday school that's going to be led by our Sunday school superintendent, Miss Sarah Flack. And, um, you know, for those of you who are wondering, are we going to continue to, to train up our children in the AME way and, and, and do our traditional Sunday school? That's not going anywhere. We're going to have that component each and every Sunday for our young people. So they're going to go in, they're going to get the biblical teachings and learn how to apply that to their lives. And most importantly, we're going to make the lessons that we give to them in Sunday school relevant to our lives. Look, we understand that, that uh, there's nothing new under the sun, but our kids are facing a different landscape than, uh, than we did when we grew up. There are the challenges and the pressures of social media that kids have to deal with that were unlike anything that, that we've had to deal with before. And so we know that our kids are, are experiencing um, the challenges of bullying and how to deal with cyberbullying and, and social media. And, and we even know that, that some of our children, unfortunately, are, are, are lost to the streets and to violence and some who are even grappling with, with, with suicide and, and those types of thoughts. And so we have to make sure that we are being relevant to the issues that our young people are facing. And we're going to find ways to do that through our youth ministry through our arts ministry, as well as through our Sunday school teachings. So those are the three-part components that, uh, that our young people are going to be experiencing every Sunday when they come into the church. And we're also blessed in addition to Miss Sarah and Miss Danae that we have uh, committed folks who are going to be working alongside them, Miss Amber Jones, Miss Cheryl Dudley, Miss Lauren Clock, Mr. Terry Payne, and Miss Karen Cannon. So if you're interested or you know anyone who's interested in joining our village here at Allen Temple, uh, please feel free to come on, uh, reach out to me, reach out to some of the individuals that, uh, that I mentioned earlier in the video, and we'll be glad to make you a part of the team here. Now, just a few other things before I close out this video. Uh, we held some meetings with some of you. 
And the message came through loud and clear that we have to get better at communication. Hence, the video here today. And let me inform you on some of the things that we're going to be doing moving forward to help make sure that we're communicating to you not only what your kids are experiencing and doing here, but when we have events and things planned, we can get that information out to you in plenty enough time so that you can adjust your schedule to make sure that your young people are able to participate as much as they want to in the events and programming that we have here at Allen Temple. So as I mentioned, Ms. Karen Cannon is going to be taking charge of a lot of our communication. She's going to be making sure that we get information out to parents via email, via text messaging strings that we have out there. We're also going to be using the Allen Temple phone tree to communicate events and things that are going on involving the youth department and your young people. We're going to be utilizing uh, our, our website, the Allen Temple website, to communicate things, our social media pages. And we're even in talks about creating a newsletter, a monthly newsletter that would go out to parents keeping you apprised of all of the activities and things not only that are upcoming but the things that we've been doing with the youth on a monthly basis here at Allen Temple. We want to make sure that that you know what's going on and that you feel good at all times about how we're engaging your young people and how they're participating here at the church. So we heard you loud and clear, and we're going to make sure that we do a much better job of communicating. Also, I want to make sure that you guys have a, a good understanding of who it is that's leading your children. So I know that I'm going to be making it a priority to do a better job of reaching out to you uh, personally and individually, whether that's through phone calls, um, in-person meetings, or even if I just happen to see you at church, making sure that I that I come up, introduce myself, and that we can begin to develop uh, more of a relationship as parents and the youth pastor who's going to be working with your kids. So you have my commitment that in this in this conference here moving forward, that we're going to be doing a much better job of, of reaching out to you and communicating with you so that you can feel good about your experience here at Allen Temple. Lastly, we want to make sure that we create a fun environment here at Allen Temple. Um, we understand that uh, we don't want our young people to feel like they're being dragged to church on Sunday. We want them to look forward to coming to church on Sunday. And in addition to making the relevant or making the issues that we talk about to them relevant, we also have to make sure that we're creating a fun and engaging environment with the young people. So we're also going to be wanting to do some um, extracurricular events um, outside of Sunday mornings, and that may be uh, uh, excursions or trips that we want to take the kids on, whether that's bowling to the movies, uh, putt-putt golf, you name it. Uh, we're going to have some events and some things that we're going to engage the kids with. We're also going to engage them with some volunteer opportunities because it's important for them to understand how to give back and that part of being a good Christian is service. So we're going to have some service projects as we move forward through the year that we're going to have our young people involved in as well. Um, and then we're going to be doing some things here internally in the church, uh, bringing in some experts to uh, kind of help our kids deal with some issues of, of, of mental health and things of that nature, because we want to make sure that our kids are on good, firm, and solid footing. Look, we all know uh, we can we can all sit back and say, well, hey, maybe that's not my kid. But if we all remember and we look back to when we were kids, we didn't always tell our parents everything that was going on with us or what we were experiencing. Sometimes kids need an alternative outlet where they can express the challenges that they're going through, uh, the, the issues that they're dealing with, and what better place for them to find that than in the house of the Lord and in the church. And so we're going to do everything that we can to try to provide them with the resources and the outlets to be able to give them just another extra layer of support. So I know that maybe took a little bit longer than uh, than we thought it might have in this video, but hopefully um, you watched it, you, you took it in, and you like what you're hearing about the direction that we're going in. Once again, uh, if you have thoughts or suggestions or things that you would like to see, ways that we could continue to improve the youth ministry here at Allen Temple, feel free to reach out to the uh, to the office here at Allen Temple. Reach out to me uh, personally. I'll make sure that my email is attached on to this, uh, this video and phone number as well so you can reach out to me directly. And, uh, and let's work on our kids together. I believe in the scripture that says, if we train up a child in the way in which he should go, that when he or she is old, they will not depart from it. 
So let's start paving, paving that path right now, Allen Temple, and moving forward. Because our kids are our future. They're the future of this church. They're the future of our country. Let's make sure we're laying a solid foundation for them to be the best that they can possibly be and be all that God expects. Again, I'm Kevin Aldridge, looking forward to serving, serving you and serving with you. Until next time, take care and God bless.